Wait. I wonder if I got our fuzzy butt in the camera. Oh! Wait a second. Hello, everyone. You can tell I shaved. My, my hurricane party's over. We're sporting my SPL shirt. Again, come support Southern Pro Lucha Libre. Eventually, one day, showing up here in Daytona Beach. Maybe when I get a new microphone, because mine's all kinds of beat up now. So I think it's that time to order another five bucks. And, oh, actually, in two weeks, I can order one. Let's go again. This is the classic Red Wine Friday. And this, this Red Wine Friday Impact Wrestling Show brought to you by Ros Roscado. The unofficial red wine of Impact Wrestling tonight. And um, let's see here. A couple new things. Let's see here. Where's my notes at? I think I finally finished stuff up here. Oh, yeah. That reminds me. I have to open this up. Let's see. That's all my old WWE notes. I did all that. So let's see here. Let me. Double check one thing. As you can tell, I am prepared as I normally am to do these shows. Let's see here. So let's see here. Yes. Dude, again, I'm finishing up my all my thank yous. I think that should be finished, I hope. Here. Genosis Smith, thank you very much for subscribing. You saw that luchador on a forklift. Chris, Orita, sir, you obviously saw Jordan Grace's picks, because in your mind, Jordan has back. Oh my God, Becky, look at her back. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Alexa Soto. You, sir, are experiencing a mundo moment. Flash test his. Oh, wait. Holy shit.
Cody Watson, you are Nikki Cross's tag team partner. Alexander Hoff, you are a member of the El Generico Band. Hey, UCA. Oh, my FG. Michael Charlo, you, sir, just won by a dirty pen. Anthony Haslan, you sir are doing some kung fu fighting. Daryl Miller. Brawl back home, son. <laughs> Carla, ooh, Hidalgo. Take it all off. Kane Bailey, you have enjoyed too much of that. Briefcase boombox. Time to put it away. Wow, my last one. Brendan. Cook us. 
You, sir, are an air, air drum maestro. Oh, that's all my thank yous for my newest subscribers. Again, if I miss you, I do apologize. I think I had like... Gee, I know I had 100 plus. I don't know how that one's here. Oh, there we go. That's the beginning of my notes, I guess. Throne <laughs> Steel. And let's talk about some Impact Wrestling. Again, um, this is not my normal live show. Unfortunately, I was a bad hobo, and I'm in a hobo timeout right now. And that's because I showed things I probably shouldn't have shown. They say, Hobo Tom, for 90 days you will feel shame. Time for me to feel shame, I guess. So for 90 days you won't see a live stream of me. But instead, I'll be doing a whole bunch of reviews. I guess that at least makes it a little bit easier on me, with the exception of the WWE shows. Because they're on so freaking late. But that's neither here nor there, though. But what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to revert to my old hobo ways. And I'm going to show probably either one of my clips something really close to that or if I see a really fun promo like Rosemary's boobies or when the leaders go fishing fishing's good boobies are good uh, so I'll probably do that at least a lot for the matches unless there's a really cool uh, promo spot so let's talk about some impact wrestling tonight um Kind of weird, because all the spoilers that have already come out, like LAX in AEW is already out there at the time of this taping, not good timing impact. And Melissa Santos has been married for a while to Brian Cage. Again, impact needs to work on its timing. I think that took away from a somewhat entertaining show. I'm not as good as it's been in the past. There's probably always going to be that lull. So, I better write that in. It was still entertaining, though. It's just that not where it was. And actually, WWE was more entertaining this week than AEW, which is which hasn't been the case in the past weeks. Also, there's going to be some programming changes only because NXT is coming to the USA Network, so this guy, Hobo Tom, will be able to cover it a little bit more. I saw the NXT, actually for the first time, mainly because of the hurricane, I saw NXT, NXT on the WWE Network, YouTube. And for some reason, I really wasn't impressed. I don't know if it was the matches or the fact that it only lasted one hour. And I have no idea how NXT is going to work if it's going to be two hours. The so matches were. I'm not going to do a whole review of the show I watch. The matches were good. It just. I don't know. It just seemed like a good house show. Again, you can agree or disagree. You can always leave a comment with, with me here at YouTube, or you can email me and say NXT is the greatest thing. I've seen NXT house shows. 
that are up here. Don't ever get me wrong. I'll always give you the good and the bad. Unfortunately, I've also seen the NXT house shows that are down here. Yeah, there we go. So I'm in the camera at least. So I've seen both extremes. Most of the time, it tends to be up here ish. My worry is that they're going to take away the highlighted talent from NXT, showcase them mainly on TV, and give the house shows the, the C and B squads, which cannot be good sometimes. With all this being said, there is nothing to do but impact wrestling. I better make this a fairly quick video because I have video. I have videos to freaking upload. Wow. Uh, starts off with Jessica Havoc versus Sue Young. You have the brawling style of Jessica Havoc, where Sue Young actually has that, that strong style. And Jessica Havoc should be a part of OVE because she's built out of Columbus, Ohio. It's close enough. Um. I don't know, the Mandible Claw from the Bleeding Glove, the Bossing Crab by Jessica Havoc. It was actually a pretty decent match. Uh, the ref got involved a lot. Uh, Jessica Havoc. Jessica Havoc did something cool. Normally, Sue Young wears some like ripped up, torn covering on her top. I didn't realize Sue Young's tits were so big. Whoa! And yes, yeah, like there was some cleavage there. That was pretty cool because I know she wears kind of like she's wears. I don't, I've trust. I have no idea. It just looks like she wears like a normal bra or not like a like not like a sporty type bra. Well, I'll tell you what, Sue Young, you're ever in Florida. You have to look up Hobo Tom. I'd be your boyfriend. Um, other than that, for the most part. It was just kind of brawling. Uh, Sue Young did hit the red mist. <laughs> Sue Young, funny. <laughs> uh, the only thing with this match, I'm going to downgrade this match. It was a double count out. I'm not really a fan of that. I wonder if they're going to take this to Bound for Glory, which I'll be doing a review of. That's not till October, so I still have some time. I want to say my suspension's up is due up the 29th of November. I think right after Thanksgiving, right around then. But I mean, it's a double count out. It's a ham sandwich of a match. Then we have the North promo. Spoiler, LAX is an AEW. And let's see here. What else do they have? Callahan, best promo machine. Probably between him and Samoa Joe. 
those two are amazing the promos i like the stylized promos all grainy and stuff fades in and out Mad Men full and just kind of like charges in the girls like, someone take care of him i like that that's kind of cool then the next match was moose moose versus follow follow bala why moose why moose moose um, also, those they were trading shots for a while. Fall ball no cells, and then goes for the kamikaze, or the no the bonsai drop. I'm sorry. Um, again, Moose kicked out of that, and overall it was kind of a fun match. Well, I mean, Moose is a guy who calls himself Mr. Impact Wrestling. He calls himself a five-star athlete. I mean, he doesn't like people stepping to him. Follow the pair of big chops here. Drives Moose to the canvas. Fala has lost a lot of weight, Tom, but doesn't seem to have lost any of his power. No, actually, he's gained power. But what a backdrop! Holy God! Salaba is on his game here tonight. You know what uh, people used to tell me about Fowler? They'd say, if you get through the first five to eight minutes with him, you're probably going to win the match because he would run out of gas. Sure. He doesn't run out of gas anymore. He's lost about 100 pounds and looks fantastic. Yeah, Fowler has been taking his craft very serious over the last number of months. It was a little bit more back and forth between the two until Moose hit the spear. Spear is still one of the strongest moves in all of pro wrestling. It was a good match. Um, afterwards, because of his upcoming match at Bound for Glory versus Ken Shamrock, uh, he put Fall Ball in the ankle lock. Overall, it was a good cheeseburger match. Then there was a Tommy Dreamer and Tessa Blanchard promo. I don't know who was the Tommy Dreamer. Tessa Blanchard just told him to go out. Yeah, whatever. And there was... This was funny. There was an Eddie Edwards... Eddie Edwards and Alicia Edwards promo. Some Mexican... Hucker. Said that she was impressed with the size of Kenny. So Alicia Ed Alicia Ed Alicia Edwards slaps Eddie Edwards. And of course that's Scuzzball. Ace Austin is there. Ace Austin is gonna get his head ripped off one day, I hope. Uh see here. Then there was TJP versus Golden Magic. This is this is a fun match. Um a lot of Lucha stuff. They did mention that TJP has previously won. I think he was suicide at one time. He won the Exhibition title in TNA Impact. And he also held the 205 Cruiserweight Championship in WWE. It's not that often that other promotions mention where other promotions were at. And you can tell that they, they did taping him because uh, TJP sold like hamburger chest. Yeah, that or you, or you spent way too much time around the sun like a t-shirt. Because his whole upper body was still like... Ugh, red looking. Hamburgerish looking. It was pretty fun. Um, they, they did the uh, flying spinning Mexican... Uh, magic the flying spinning Ma Mexican arm drag, which is always fun. Uh, he had an eye moonsault. It was really fun stuff. Oh, wow. The other one is Rich Swan. Well, we got both of them. Yes, sir. Golden magic in control here. DJP's got to watch his shoulders on the mat there. They were into the leg of Golden Magic, which is why the official didn't make the count. Look at DJP showing off his athleticism. No doubt Impact Wrestling truly is the place to be these days. 
Oh, absolutely. We just keep coming up with these new stars. TJP, Golden Magic. Everyone wants to be here. <clears throat> TJP trying to get to Golden Magic here. Has the arm barred. Switched arms there. You notice that? Yep. TJP very proud of his <clears throat> Filipino heritage. Nice snap mare. Again, there was uh, TJP at him like the human pretzel lock, which is new. That's always good. After this part, though, you can tell the two of them were kind of gassed because it got kind of botchy and a little sloppy. Uh, that actually brought down the match. Dude, why are you bumping? Like, that didn't even land anywhere near you. Uh, it was a top rope. Uh, Golden Magic. Uh, won. Golden Magic won. You hit like some. Oh no, TJP one actually. Golden Magic hit some like this was amazing though. I didn't get a video of this, but it was like a top rope moonsault fallway slam. TJP kicked out of that, put Golden Magic in a knee bar. Golden Magic like just like started tapping right away. Uh, TJP won. I'm actually gonna upgrade these even though the parts of it were sloppy. It was a cheeseburger match. Then there was a bunch of promos. Um, Taya Valkyrie did a promo with Johnny Bravo saying, saying, I need to go find someone to really talk to you. You're a loser, Johnny Bravo. Uh, Johnny Swinger. I think that's... um. Oh, what's his face? A, a cut and chisel Damien Sandow doing a Scott Steiner impression. And then Akira Hogan and Tennille Dashwood, they're, they're going to fight because Tennille Dashwood has to, has to break in somehow. And I, I do like the fact that they have really short promo segments. And that kind of adds to why Impact sometimes is better than WWE. Then we had Mad Man Fulton versus. RVD. And wow, is RVD getting old? Uh, Dave Chris is in Madman Fulton's corner and, and he's his handler. He starts slapping him and stuff, trying, trying to motivate him, trying to get him to Hulk up. Madman Fulton's just really a brute. Uh, Rob Van Dam tries to take out the legs of him. He has some classic Rob Van Dam moves. So, so Madman Fulton again against Rob Van Dam. This could be a signature career defining victory for Madman Fulton against RVD. And think about this, Don. I mean, Fulton picks up a win here. You're 44 nights away from Bound for Glory live on pay per view. Perhaps puts himself in a better position for a marquee match on that particular night. Absolutely. Next week, we head to Oklahoma. Next Friday, it's Operation Override on Twitch. And then next Saturday, Victory Road on Impact Plus. Oklahoma. Tickets are available right now for both of those shows. Go to impactwrestling.com for all your details. Look at the size of Mad Dam. Yeah, Mad Dam's about six foot two. And as we stated, I mean, Fulton in it right around. Uh, again, there was a shot into the bottom rope by Madman Fulton. That was great from the outside. Um, eventually, David Christ was involved, and we have a fail to death to finish. Baby, you know what that means? Oh, wait a second. This is Impact Wrestling? Wait a second. Why is Impact Wrestling? Copying my WWE product because we had a winner, folks, by that's the finish by DQ. It was a Rob Van Dam, and because of that, it was a death that finish. It wasn't no good. 
It was a dusty old ham sandwich. Cause Because boy, oh boy, RVDs, one day it's going to hang up them boots like my boy Dustin did. And maybe come back every so often. Man, he's old looking. Yeah, Rob Van Dam really seems to have lost not even half a step. He's lost like two steps. Again, Father Time is undefeated. Then it got, then it got funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a whole dead crowd there. I don't know if they were all looted out or whatever. The crowd was dead. I don't know if they were paid to be there, but they have done that in the past. Hey, you can come to Florida. Pay me, too, to be there. I'll take 50 bucks a night. I'll cheer. I'll be the most animated person you'll ever see. I'll even come with a Hobo Tom sign. I'll make sure I get that and post that everywhere. But then we had a treehouse segment with Willie Mack and Rich Swan, and they brought the stuff. That was just too funny to exclude. And then at the Diener compound, the Diener's go fishing. And obviously the Desi Hit Squad never went fishing before. Everyone should go fishing. The one thing I will always say. And then, wow, Jordan Grace. She has big boobies. And Rosemary were talking. She has bigger boobies. And that was just kind of entertaining and enlightening. That's what we do. 
Sometimes the path is revealed, yet sometimes it takes a leap of faith. Yes? <laughs> Trust us, sweetheart. It would not be you we were playing with if it was up to us. And there was an LAX promo. Again, this match was terrible because they terribly timed this because everyone who follows pro wrestling knows that LAX is bound for AEW. Uh, it started off, it was, so it was LAX versus the North. It started off with good classic wrestling. I'll tell you what, LAX is so good at some of their, their uh, double team moves. Very Lucia style. The North is also good. They're... they're they're, of course, better at the heel tactics of tag team wrestling. Again, always a distracted tag team. Distract the ref. Get involved somehow. And if they lose, they leave Impact Wrestling. It's all about the goal and the careers. And when you look at LAX and everything they've done, everything they've accomplished, you think back to the street fight in New York City. You think back to the nights that they won the tag team titles, and Alexander spins free, and he's got the arm, and Santana with the there. big time kick right to the back of the spine. Interesting, both of these teams are excellent at cutting the ring in half, they're excellent at double teams. They're so good down, and they're so different from each other, yes? Yeah, I think so, I mean... I would give for sure Santana the athletic and athleticism rather advantage in this match, but and, and, and Santana Ortiz are tough street fighters, but you talk about Show tough. Down. You talk about tough. We're I mean Ortiz sets up he gets the hot tag. The North was teasing to do LAX's finisher. Um so again, sneaky uh, double team by the North. The North one, mainly, I don't know. This this was a good match. I tried to get myself out of the mind frame, like, oh, they're already going to AEW. AEW all out kind of spoiled it already. But still, though, this was a good bees burger of a match. Then Brian Cage cuts a promo. The doc says, yeah, he's, he'll be fine in six weeks. And he's going to defend his belt at Bound for Glory against Sammy Callahan. So that answers Sammy Callahan's question. And, and then he, pro he then he proposed to Melissa Santos? Wait a second. They've already been married for a while. Again, just bad timing on the impacts part. And while I can finally throw out all this paper, I'm eventually got a new note. At least as of right now, I won't have shoutouts to give. Unless you leave a comment or email or actually subscribe, but generally a lot fewer happens mainly during my review shows, a lot more so during my live events. Again, I'm in I'm in hobo timeout. I have to, I have to sit, sit up for 90 days. Assuming how this video goes, if I get my second strike, then I'm like, uh-oh. If they ever get a second copyright strike, I think they up it to like six months. Yeah, because it's three months, six months. Then they're like, you're under review to get like tossed. I don't necessarily want to get tossed yet. But that was Impact Wrestling. Um, Overall, it was a ham sandwich of a show. Mainly because the crowd seemed dead a lot for some of the matches. And the matches were, to some degree, already spoiled by what you saw or knew of in, I guess, the real world. But overall, it wasn't bad. Yeah, and that was my Red Wine, Fright, Red Wine and Pizza Friday Impact Wrestling Show. I thank everyone for watching again. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.
And oh no wrestling this weekend. Wow. I get to tranquilo. So I'll see everyone Monday. Bye folks.